Lake Mead water level in Tier 3 shortage. The Colorado River system supports almost 40 million people in the West and makes up 40% of Arizona's water supply. When seven western states got together in 1922 to determine how to share the Colorado River, they estimated the amount of water in the river based on data from a historically unusual wet period. This miscalculation has resulted in more water being allocated to different states than the river can actually provide annually. Combine this with growing populations wanting more water and climate change increasing the likelihood of drought, and we are facing a major problem. Lake Mead is the primary reservoir on the Colorado River that stores and supplies water to Arizona, Nevada, and California. When the water level in Lake Mead is predicted to reach the 1,075 feet on January 1st of a new year, Tier 1 shortage will be declared by the Bureau of Reclamation. This shortage declaration will mean reductions in the amount of water that the lower basin states, Arizona, Nevada, and California, and the Republic of Mexico can take out of the Colorado River. Lake Mead's water level is currently dropping to levels never before recorded. Declining water levels have also reduced the hydropower generation capacity at Hoover Dam on Lake Mead by 25%, requiring the installation of new turbines that can operate at lower lake levels. The Colorado River will never have enough water to meet current allocations. A few good wet years will not make a difference in a water shortage being declared in the near future. The problem is happening now and is here to stay, the Colorado River will never have enough water to meet the current overallocations to the Colorado River Basin states. The Lake Mead water level reaching 1,075 feet is a warning signal that requires a change in water agreements and water management throughout the West. The Bureau of Reclamation makes the official water shortage declaration for the coming year in the month of August. Their determination of a shortage is determined by their forecast of whether the lake level on January 1st of the coming year will be above or below the 1,075-foot level. Arizona is first in line for water reductions from the Colorado River. A number of agreements collectively referred to as the Law of the River govern how the river's water supply is allocated. In addition, a 2007 shortage sharing agreement determined how the lower basin states would share Colorado River water in the event of a shortage. Because some of Arizona's Colorado River water users have a low priority in the allocation system, Arizona will face the largest water reduction. Central Arizona project will see a 20% reduction, impacting farms first. Water reductions will have the greatest impact on the Central Arizona project, which holds the lowest priority water entitlement among the lower basin states. The Central Arizona Project brings Colorado River water to the cities of Phoenix and Tucson. Arizona will see a 20% reduction in its Central Arizona Project supply, equivalent to an 11% reduction in the state's total Colorado River supply. By comparison, Nevada would experience a 4% reduction in its Colorado River water supply allotment and Mexico a 3% reduction. California would not experience any reduction because it has higher priority status in the water sharing agreement. As water levels in Lake Mead continue to fall, additional reductions will be triggered, tiers 2 and 3, with Arizona shouldering a 17% reduction when the water level in Lake Mead hits 1,025 feet, tier 3.